Lop Nina KB2, Room 101, the Golden Bucket. Why wow, you got it, what, the lovely, ain't it lovely, Elegante over there? I went with the lovely, and I can already see, like, the wrapper starting to crack all the way down. And this is, we'll get to it, we'll get to it. This has been sitting in the, the humidor now for a while, nicely humidified okay. and everything else. I'm gonna do the, who do the kill bill? All right. Toast with the tip of the flame, the part that you can't see. To get it all nice and black, toast it. Indirect light. <laughs> I feel like there's a poem coming up. Yeah, fill your shit up. <laughs> That's what you do. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Indirect light. Do not put flame directly into your cigar. Be like, boom! <laughs> I'm like, damn! Yeah, yeah. Why are you so close? My brother does that. Oh, does he? My brother does that shit. He, like, he's got one of those torches, and he just like, when he goes to touch up a cigar, instead of like just touching up the edges of it, he like takes it and burns it down like an inch down. Oh, the cigar. Like, shit! <laughs> Burn the shit out of that cigar. Yeah. Brother Stogie, OG brother Stogie. OG, yes. <laughs> Yeah, it feels like it's been uh, been a while since we filmed an episode. Yeah, you went on, you went on a vacation, a yeah. nice little trip to Arizona. Yeah. And, yep. You know, with the kids as always. That's right. Know, That's right. With the circus and shit, while you out there having, you know, a little off road luxury time. without kids and shit. You know? <laughs> <laughs> right. But here we are. Yes. Here we are, and uh, we're back at it. We're actually going to be talking a little bit about cigars today. <laughs> We're rusty. Okay. Let me get into that in just a second here. Hold on one moment. Mm -hmm. What's going on, everybody? Scar Titan here once again with my good friend, Brother Stogie. Say hello to the people. Titan, please. You have found the most entertaining e cigar channel on all of the YouTubes. You found the Cigar Titan. That's right. Yes. And so, yes, we are going to be talking about cigars. I kind of went backwards on that, which is why they, they would hope so. <laughs> my brain stopped for a minute there. But we didn't get a chance because I've been out of state and on vacation for a little while yeah. um, to do the last month's box of Luxury Cigar Club. So mm -hmm. we're going to be talking about what was in the April box. Yeah. And then we should be getting the May boxes here very soon. Yes. Are you ready to get into this one? Let's give it to Brother Stogie. Yeah. What were you going to say for the video? I don't know, but I will say this. You know what's funny? As a parent, right? You know, people typically get upset at their kids for, you know, having bad grades. Sure. You know, getting to fight to school. Yep. Getting suspended. Getting sent to the principal's office. Yep. Oh, that's, I get upset at those things, but just not so much, especially for like a seven year old. Okay. You know, my, 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 my. My seven-year-old at a school, he get on these like, uh, you know, educate, not behavior plans. So, hey, he was outside and him and his friends were pushing each other. They can't play with each other. And I'm like, what? Wait, so you're telling me that his friends during recess were pushing each other and now they're on a behavioral plan? Hmm. I don't get it. Boys, right? Right. Okay. So even when as far as saying that my son can't play with a particular friend because they play too rough. Now, mind you, this is his best friend that he plays with outside of school. Okay. Made no damn sense. Right. Right. All right. Well, son, hey, stop pushing in front of the school people because they're sensitive around these times and they don't let boys be boys no more. All right. So don't do that. But that's not what I'm talking about. So I don't get mad at that. What I do get mad at, though, is when I'm trying to take a simple damn picture because we went to the Universe Soul Circus out in Compton, California this past weekend and all I want is some simple, nice ass family pictures. And every time we take pictures, everybody else is, she's smiling, his ass. <laughs> that furiates me more than him getting kicked out, getting a bad note at school. Take the damn picture. 
parent shit. Hashtag parent shit. <laughs> boys are gonna be boys. Boys are gonna be boys. Boys are gonna be boys. I don't care about him playing rough at school. Right. They might think I'm a bad parent because I don't address the issues, but I don't give a shit. He's a boy. If they want to push each other and he can get up from being pushed and, and not cry, right. I'm a proud father. Well, you know, once you get out of school, you know, you go to college and then you get out of college, like, life's real easy. You don't have to worry about getting pushed around by life or people or anything. Like, once you get out, it's pretty much smooth sailing no matter what you do. <laughs> I'm, I'm about, you, ready? you ready for this? Let's go. You ready for this? No, what I would be upset is if my son got pushed and he came home, his dad, he pushed me. That's great for me. But hey, shut up. Stop crying. That's gay. You know what I'm saying? I would, <laughs> I would be mad at that. But no, I'm glad my son could take a push, take a punch to the chin and not cry. Yes. So before we get into, well, you know what? Let's let's actually start. Let's start with the cigars, because I do want to talk about the cigar that I'm smoking here. Already had a few problems with it, and I yeah. literally just you know cut and lit it. So okay. why don't we start off with this one? This is the lovely, out of the Luxury Cigar Club Platinum Box. So if you are new to the channel, real quick. LuxuryCigarClub.com is a cigar subscription service where you can get a cigar subscription of your choosing sent to your house every month for your for your pocket price. Yes. And this is the this is it's right there. The cigar the most luxurious cigar subscription service on the planet. That's right. That's right. Cancel when you want to. That's right. No contracts. That's right. Pause a month. Skip a month. And then get your shit back going. Yep. Okay. This is the Platinum Box for April 2023, and this is a lovely, ain't it lovely, or not so lovely, <laughs> Elegante. <laughs> so profile is Bad Boys Medium, Rapper Ecuadorian, Biden of Mexican, Filler, Nicaragua. It's a six inch by 52 ring gauge cigar. Tell them about it. So uh, upon the initial cut, I showed you, I've kind of fixed that already. I went with a straight cut on this cigar. Now this has been sitting in the humidor Perfectly humidified, even had a boba de pack with it for, I would say, the last three weeks. Now, again, I'm basing this off of one cigar. Right. Out of many that I'm sure, you know, this company manufactures. So, your experience with the cigar could greatly vary from my experience with the cigar. Mm -hmm. But upon cutting it, it immediately cracked the wrapper on the cigar and started to unravel here on the top. So I just kind of used a little saliva, put it back down, and good. Okay. Now, I lit the cigar mm -hmm. and started puffing on it. I can tell already that there is a straight crack, and I'll show everybody right here. Right there, you can see the crack mm -hmm. going all the way down the cigar. Now, it doesn't even necessarily feel like the wrapper's dry or mm -hmm. anything like that. So this may just be one of those cigars that wasn't quite as well put together as some of the other cigars. Um, but I'm hoping that that doesn't become so problematic that it affects the smoking experience. So for the beginner smokers that are watch, one smoker might think or might freak out because they shit has cracked. Right. Or they may feel like they messed up and they cut it and now it's starting to unravel. What are some things they can do besides not finishing the cigar to kind of I know you talk about one, but to kind of put it back together, kind of piece it up to make it smokable. Yeah, so sometimes, you know, maybe a little bit of vegetable oil. Um, if the wrapper is really coming off uh, the binder of the cigar, I have used a little bit of vegetable oil. You put that on the binder, maybe a little bit on the wrapper. You don't want to put too much because you don't want that to affect the light as the cigar starts to come down. Um, and that can sometimes help keep the wrapper attached to the binder so that you don't have an issue. There's been other times where I'm really enjoying a cigar or a mm -hmm. cigar I'm smoking cost me, you know, a pretty penny and mm -hmm. I don't want to put it down because the wrapper is cracked, but the wrapper is just peeling off and there really isn't any saving it. Mm -hmm. At that point, sometimes I'll just take off the wrapper and it you does, have to, just the binder on there. you just have to smoke it with the binder and that does affect the flavor profile of the cigar because there are a lot of flavors that you get off of the wrapper of the cigar so it, it sucks when things like that happen mm. but you know you work with it it's you know the cracks or you get a little bit of a peel or you take off the band and the band was put on there with some type of glue and it peels off a portion of the wrapper yes 
all those things suck, but that doesn't necessarily mean you have to put your cigar down and give up, give up on it. True, true. I've done it. So sometimes, like, sometimes when you cut with the guillotine, yes. you might get that unraveled too. Right. And sometimes you get, if you got, you know, in your pocket, you got some chapstick, some birds bees, mm-hmm. vanilla, mm-hmm. go ahead and kind of patch it up on there, and you got a little vanilla taste in, in there yep. as well, and you kind of, you know, patched up your cigar. Yep. Great call out with the chapstick. I've done that one as well. Mm-hmm. Nice one. What's next? Oh, wait, what was the cost of that cigar? So this stick is only $11. The one that I'm smoking, the lovely? Yes. Okay. So the Elegante is a complex smoke person with notes of coffee, cedar, cream, and sweet spice. I haven't got any sweet spice. Definitely a little creamy. It's more on the mild to medium level right now, but I'm also drinking a Monster, which is kind of drowning out some of the flavors, admittedly. Okay. Um, So I may get some of those flavors in between sips. I'll let you know. True, true. So we'll go to the Principal Aviator series. Petit Cochon Volant. Okay. That's the one with the pretty silver band. The pretty silver band, right? Eh? Yes. And all the cigars up here and I put them down. I'm telling you, see, you take some time off it's and it's good. like. <laughs> it's all good. We, we, we back in. Playing catch up. All right. I think I got it. So profile this bad boy is medium, rappers Ecuadorian, binder Dominican, filler Dominican, Nicaraguan, and Peruvian. Okay. This is a 4x25x58 by by inch ring gauge cigar. Yes, now I'm actually going to take this one out of the wrapper and show them again because you said, what were those dimensions again? 4x25 four by four by inches mm-hmm. by 58. 25 inches? 4.25 four inches by 58 ring gauge. Yeah, so this one here, as you can see, actually oh. gets bigger as it tapers down towards the foot of the cigar and gets thinner as you come up to the top here, which I actually prefer for bigger ring gauge cigars. Mm. I like those bigger ring gauge cigars that kind of taper off down to a smaller ring gauge. That way you don't sit there with a 70 ring gauge cigar in your mouth with your mouth wide open trying to puff on something like that. These are a lot more easy to manage. I've been seeing my, my, I've been seeing MJ on IG on his live smoking them big old 60, 80 ring gauge Whew. cigar. He just, oh, 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 the whole time. <laughs> a, little, uh. a little sus, bro. bro was how'd that go? <laughs> a little sus, bro. You know what I'm saying? But I Get love him. you, <laughs> So this, this thing will actually cost you $15. Okay. It's a $15 cigar right there. Um, next will be the switch to the other side, the Amendola West Side Story, okay. the Bat. The Bat. That is just the white and red label right there. Uh huh. That big boy right there. Okay. Profile is bad boy is medium. Rapper is Mexican. Binder Indonesian. Filler Dominican and Nicaragua. Size this is a six inch by fifty two ring gauge cigar. Nice. Fourteen dollar stick. Let's see. Uh, let's see. I'm mean, gonna call Kyler to get my damn glass description. Description. I told, I, I told <laughs> my, time. I told my primary physician I can't see no more. Damn it! I need my glasses. It's time. Let's see, the bat uses a Mexican San Andreas wrapper with an Indonesian binder and a mix of Nicaraguan and Dominican fillers. The bat is a hearty, medium to full blend that boasts tasting tasting notes of Baker's chocolate, pepper, and espresso. Oh, I like that. I like. I like that. Yeah, those are my notes right there. Yo, uh. Quick shout out, Titan Tip, right? Titan Tip. Titan Tip. So for the beginners, if y'all debating on why you would get a subscription box, for this purpose, LuxuryScoreClub.com, these come with these little description cards, right? So if you're trying to kind of like test your gangster with cigars, yep. you can kind of pick your poison, not literally, no, <laughs> pick your pleasure. Yes with the various cigars, because they tell you what the strength is with, with each body of the cigars. Can I so share something the, with you? Yeah. So when I got my like very first cigar subscription, I think it was with like someplace like Thompson Cigar Company. They send out the whole booklets and everything in the mail mm-hmm. and stuff like that. I got a monthly subscription with them and they did something similar where they send out like a car. That was like, as a beginner smoker who was just getting into the game, Brother Sogi, that was like such a helpful thing yeah. for me to be able to see what it was I was smoking, see the dimensions of the cigar mm-hmm. and then get a flavor profile for that to try and pull out those flavors myself, mm-hmm. you know, to really develop the palate. So those things are huge helps. Exactly, man. So being able to know 
the body and the strength. Yep. To know what, okay, so this is a Mexican San Andreas wrapper. Okay. A little oily. No toothiness. But you know, in the description it says, you know, toothy cigar. Right. So read the description, get some education what this cigar looks like, what those wrappers look like, the kind of what it feels like in your hands. You got some that are like, you know, oily feel. Mm -hmm. Some of them like more of a, a leather. Yep. Like that nice, smooth leather feel yep. to it. You get the nose, so get the education off the car. Like I said, you can t you can pick your pleasure based on the strength of the cigar and kind of play around with your palate. You remember that store called Wilson's Leather? Yeah. You know they still have an online store for them? Do they? They do. Oh, I sure. found that out yesterday. Oh, okay. I was watching a video about all these stores that used to be in shopping malls that have gone out of business because I had like 10 minutes to get up. <laughs> so I'm watching this, move, this show on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think the name of the channel is uh, uh, Ready History, uh, R-H-E-T-T-Y, something like that. So shout out to them. They put mm -hmm. the video, video together. But yeah, they were actually saying that Wilson's Leather is still an online store you can buy oh. stuff from. I'm gonna go check it out. I yeah. got Wilson's Jackets. I've had that's almost nice 10 stuff. years. That's some really nice stuff. Agreed. So okay. let's go to this one I'm smoking. I am smoking the La Polina KB2, the Kill Bill 2. I feel like we've had a lot of the La Polina cigars in yeah. our LCC boxes. We yeah. have. This profile, this bad boy is medium. Rapper is high enduring. Binder is Honduran, filler, not Honduran, <laughs> but Nicaraguan. Okay. Size is six inch by 40. It's a $9 cigar filled with Nicaraguan, Corojo, and Criollo sweets and spicy notes of mocha, apple, note, nuts, and leather are present, boasting on an impressive 93 point rating. Okay. I'm not getting no apple, but we'll see as we progress on to the second third of the cigar. I don't know that I've ever gotten the apple flavor out of cigars. I've definitely gotten the floral note out of cigars. The uh, CAO Brasilia, mm -hmm. Brazilian comes to mind, but I've never gotten an apple note out of a cigar. Nah, not in the first third, that's for sure. I would think it's probably going to be something that like tastes like maybe like a dehydrated apple chip like, or something yeah. like that. Still, no, nah, yeah. still, still okay. nothing here. Um, so, nine dollar cigar, and then we have the big bitch in the middle. Yes. If you are a fam, a member of LuxuryCigarClub.com, you know every time you get one of these boxes, whether it be palladium, platinum, diamond, uh, baller, and big ass baller boxes, mm -hmm. there's always a stick in the center. It always costs about twenty dollars and up. That's right. Right. And so this one here is the Room One Hundred One. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Matt Booth, uh, Golden Bucket Robusto. And it has a band of, of a golden bucket on there. So, aptly named. Profile is bad boy is medium. Wrapper, undisclosed. Binder, undisclosed. Let me guess, filler, undisclosed. Filler, undisclosed. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> Still. <laughs> a Hold on, <laughs> wait, we got some new shit in this box though. Because the MSRP. Okay. How much this bad boy cost? Yep. It's not undisclosed, it's unobtainable. Unobtainable? No, it doesn't. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Let's see. MSRP. <laughs> Meaning, this that, may be the most expensive rare yes. cigar we have ever smoked from so our LCC So if you're not a, a platinum <laughs> subscription service member of LuxuryCigarClub.com, you, you have just missed out on an unobtainable cigar <laughs> For all ballers. <laughs> Bro, so you got to show me the unattainable. <laughs> it's on the card. It, yeah. Yep. Mm. So look, so. <laughs> Put my stick down real quick. If you don't believe what I say, because y'all think that, you know, Brett Sogi's some, some damn comedian or some shit. <laughs> well, yes. And I come here to tell <laughs> jokes. I'm serious. You do. Most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> he, he showed you. This is the, the golden bucket right there. Boom. This. It's a card that says <laughs> un damn obtainable. All right. Imagine if you went to go buy a new truck, right? And you're uh -huh. at the you're at the car dealership. Th thank you. Uh -huh. <laughs> Brains fried for today after <laughs> 15 fucking million Zoom calls. And you go to look at the sticker on the truck, and it says MSRP unattainable. Like, what do you do? Like, how do you buy a cigar with an unattainable? Like, where do you even come up, Matt? 
Where do you even come up with the whole idea for an unattainable price yes. for a cigar? Maybe that was something that Chris and Ben were doing where uh-huh. they couldn't find a price for the cigar. Maybe they only sell them in certain like case packs or boxes uh-huh. and they don't sell them individually. I want to know how you come up with an unattainable MSRP. Because I tell I you, if I went to a dealership and I was like, hey man, I want this new... Uh, F-150 trimmer package. Right, 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 right. You know what I'm saying? With, a, with, a, with magnificent off-road capabilities <laughs> and a Shelby engine with Shelby stitched into the stitching by the headrest. <laughs> How much is this? Because I want it. And he says, sir, this is unobtainable. And I'm like, fuck you mean? Because I'm black? Is that what you're trying to say? Because I'm, I'm black? I can't afford? I can't afford this F-150? No, sir. I'm just saying. It's unobtainable. You gotta be a part of Ford F four fifties, you know, monthly monthly subscription <laughs> service. <laughs> Shit. It's going somewhere. You know? I just, we just need to know. We need to know how do you come up with an unattainable MSRP. Makes no sense. Come so, on. So I'm gonna cut this from the video and I'm gonna say, hey, Mad Boo, shout out Room 101 Cigars. Room 101 Shadow Army. You're going to tag Matt Booth, right? I'm going to tag Matt Booth. Because we need and these answers. And we're going to ask him, what the hell does an unobtainable MSRP mean? That's right. We got to be able to explain to this to our viewers so we can explain how they can get the cigar, right. the bucket, from Room 101 Cigars. Unbelievable. Shout out to Matt Booth. <laughs> <laughs> for the stogie. Yeah. That's all the time we have for today. I have a question for you real quick. Yeah, sure, of course. Love questions. Your new cigar Titan self. Yes. What is one thing that you would advise, you would advise your newbie cigar Titan self Mm -hmm. about smoking cigars? Leave the gas station cigars alone. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think starting off on gas station cigars actually prevent, I don't want to say prevented me, but uh, delayed me getting into premium cigars for so long because I got so attached to the price point of gas station cigars. Mm -hmm. Wasn't so much, and the fact that I didn't know any better, you know, I didn't know that one tasted better than the other. Mm -hmm. It was like all cigars are created equal, but I was just caught up on the price at the, at that time is really what I could afford, mm-hmm. you know, and I never really branched out beyond that. So I would have said, you know, don't be afraid to branch out and try some of these premium cigars. Okay. I think I would have transitioned to premium cigars a lot sooner had I not gotten so caught up on like the $5 at the time price mm-hmm. point for a box of five cigars. But Got here it. we are. What about you? What I would tell my newbie self right now is no when to stop. Mm. Mm. No when to say, hey, you know what? You know what? Not to be so prideful mm-hmm. with smoking cigars. Meaning, and we've discussed it, I believe, in a, a video or so ago. If a cigar is whooping your ass, mm-hmm. don't be too prideful to say, you know what? <laughs> this one ain't for me. Hey, I'll give you five dollars since you bought this for me, <laughs> but I can't do this. I can't do this one, bro. That's what I would tell my newbies. Okay. Let's do it. Yeah. What should the people do? Hey, subscribe to the channel. We are still here. Hey, do us a favor. Share the video, okay? Go down right here in the video where it says share. Yeah. Copy link and throw that shit somewhere. Yeah. Okay, throw it be on window. your IG, yeah. on your own YouTube throw it channel. Throw a coworker. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, text somebody. Hey, look, throw check these motherfuckers out right here. We want to learn some mom, stuff. Dad, you know? Hey, cousins, I'm going to send you this link. Uncles, share the video. Try to get the 10,000 subscribers, no, y'all. 10,000 subscribers. We almost there. Hey, also slide that bitch over a little bit friends. and where it says support. Hey, throw support these motherfuckers right here. You know what I'm saying? I got four kids. I'm big. broke as shit. Just you know, I, can't, I, can't afford, I can't afford to, you know, buy all these lights and stuff. Help me brother out so we can put, put some quality videos for y'all. Because <laughs> they eat all my money. <laughs> then they want to go to Disneyland. That's like a thousand dollars just for the kids. And they got a nerve to tell me that the three-year-old requires a ticket. What the fuck you mean? He can't even talk. Why you need a ticket? Anyway, sorry, <laughs> tangent. Like the video. Comment below if you are new to the channel. If you're just now finding us this week, this weekend, this week. I don't know why, but I don't know where the hell you've been. Only 300 more subscribers. 300 and we are at 10, more. Thousand. Yes. So if you are new, 000. introduce yourself to everybody. Okay? Everybody want to know who you are. 
Um, and y'all, let's spread the news so everybody know who we are. That's you plus three. Hit the bell so you get new notifications every time Scar Time is posting a new video for y'all. Um, yeah. yeah. Until next time. Live how you smoke. Smoke how you live. And that's smooth, baby. Have a great week, everyone.